this is a very spontaneous vlog it's just a very bookish vlog where we're gonna we went book shopping we're probably gonna do a little bit of a reading vlog and yeah we're just gonna do a lot of bookish activities i have a little book haul to do with you guys and then i also want to talk to you guys about the book that i'm currently reading i got something super cute at this boutique downtown and if you know me you know that my favorite Harry Styles songs is cherry. This is like a tan color with like two cherries in it. Um, it's more than I will usually pay for a t-shirt. But you know how those like boutiques are usually. And then I have a little bit of a book haul. First, it's Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize because I'm really tired. And I'm probably not really tired. I just kind of did a lot of activities that I'm not really used to doing by myself today and yeah my social energy battery it's like really drained so I'm just gonna go with the flow try to see if I can have one last kick of energy I ended up getting Mimi at the Lake by Carly Fortune I'm already reading it I'm not a huge fan so far I think I'm just gonna save it for this month reading wrap up it's just not it feels like somebody else wrote it I don't know how to say more without being mean but i'm gonna read you guys the description real quick it says firm brookbends has wasted too much to her adult life thinking about will baxter she spent just 24 hours in her early 20s in the agra Badingly attractive and idealistic artist, a chance encounter that spiraled into a day-long adventure in the city. The timing was wrong, but their connection was undeniable. They shared every secret, every dream, and made a pact to meet again one year later. Friends showed up, well, didn't. That's pretty much the gist of this book. I'm not going to keep reading because I don't think you guys need more detail about this one. Then I ordered this one on Amazon. I got this one for a very exciting video that I have coming up. I haven't even started filming it. I'm just kind of getting the books for it right now it says at first shooting her twin brother are noah and jude inseparable noah just constantly is falling in love with the charismatic boy next door while daredevil jude clive dives and does all all the talking for both of them years later they're barely talking speaking something has happened to change the twins in different yet equally devastating ways but then jude meets an intriguing resistible boy and a mysterious new mentor so yeah i have no idea what this book is about besides i mean i just read the description but it will be exciting to read it for the video up coming up i ended up getting this book has been circulating all over my fyp on tiktok and then i've seen it on instagram too it's called four wing by rebecca yaros look at the dragon detail over here it's so cool i'm gonna try to read you guys a mini description of it it says 20 year old Violet Storingale was supposed to enter the scribe quadrant living a quiet life among books and history. Now the commanding general also known as her tough as talent's mother has ordered Violet to join the hundreds of Candace striving to become an elite of Navarre Dragon's writers. But when you're taller than everyone else and your body's brittle, death is only a heartbeat the way. Because dragons don't bond with two fragile humans, they incinerate them. It's it's giving Game of Thrones a little bit of a Hunger Games hint there. I'm really excited to read this. I already started it, but I'm not deep enough into it that I can have a judgment about it. And then at the bookstore that we visited today, I ended up picking up this book. This is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. If you saw the books that I wanted to read during spring and summer, I mentioned this book and I finally got my hands on it. I'm obsessed with the cover. It's like a matte cover. Marissa Meyer also wrote, <laughs> there's my dog, come here Goose, hi buddy, this is not gonna work, so I'm obsessed with this cover, this is a retelling, Heartless is also a retelling, obsessed with that book, and I had to get something else by the exact same author, it says humans and androids crowd and Rocco streets of the new Beijing. A deadly plague ravages through the population from space and rollers lunar people watch, waiting to make their move. No one knows that Earth fate hinges on one girl. Single Cinder, a gifted mechanic, is a cyborg. She's a second class citizen with a mysterious past in the revel by her stepmother. But when her life becomes intertwined with a handsome Prince Case, she suddenly finds herself at the center of an intergalactic struggle and a forbidding attraction. This is a Cinderella retelling and there's like robots in it. 
I'm intrigued. I trust Marisa Maya with my heart after reading only one book by her. So we'll see what ends up happening with reading this. Basically a reading vlog too. I want to talk to you guys about the book that I'm reading. This is actually an ARC. It got sent to me by the publishing company. And this is this author's YA debut novel. I'm more obsessed with it already. It's so funny. Like I'm only 26 pages in and that I, I was literally giggling at the coffee shop I was at and it's pretty freaking cute it's I'm gonna read you guys the description real quick it says why knuckling her way through high school with ADHD has left Tilly totally in a rut working as an intern for her sister's startup isn't what she had in mind but traveling around Europe could be just a ticket the problem is Tilly has no idea what she wants Oliver Clark knows exactly what he wants even though navigating the world around him as an autistic teen autistic teen can be difficult his love of color theory has always been his right connecting life plus he has a thrilling internship to build his resume everything's going to plan until he meets a lively and exact exasperating tilly now oliver is forced to spend the summer with a girl who couldn't be more his opposite feeling things for her that he can quite name and leaving him to wonder if maybe he doesn't have everything figured out after all so figure out after all I'm actually really excited about this. I mean, it's just been so cute so far. So I'll update you guys when I'm a little bit deeper. And we'll see where, this, where else I'm going to go with this video. And at this point, I don't even know what this video is. I feel like I have been just either vlogging or doing whatever. By the way, I did dye my hair. I wanted to get that out of the way. I said that in the past in another video too, but I think this is actually gonna go earlier. I'm kind of technically making the transition over to brown hair, so you can see a lot of brown streaks in my hair, and there's still some blonde in there because I didn't want it to be a huge shock. So I pretty much finished the book, started five other books, so I wanted to kind of give you guys a rundown of where we're at with that. It's technically supposed to be a reading vlog style video, but I, I'm i so bad at reading vlogs, so I just wanted to give you guys a rundown. I did a reread of Love and Other Words and actually gave this book a five stars, even though the very first time I read it when I hadn't really dive into this genre of romance or any really book genres at all, I gave it like a four star, but rereading it really gives me that five star feelings so i ended up rereading this book five stars and then i finished flicker in the dark by stacy willingham i talk about this book on my tiktok account i said that i feel like her books don't really give me that five star essence so i gave this book four out of five stars but pretty much it's just a book about this girl whose dad is a serial killer he ends up killing all these girls she is a teenager and then um he gets put away and then 20 years later, it starts happening again and she gets sort of like deja vu. And the plot twists in this book are so good to the point where you're literally suspicious of every single character as the book progresses. And that has never happened to me with a thriller. And I feel like I really like that feeling of just being suspicious of every single character. So this book is really, really good. I definitely recommend Reading Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I really miss Stephanie Garber's writing style. You already know that I read Once Upon a Broken Heart and I was crazy about that book. So we'll see where this takes me. I think I'm just going to go ahead and close up this video because it's been a mess. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little bookish vlog. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys. <music>